Okay, Chrome. Yeah. So, uh, hi, Async. Um, my name is uh, Primoz, and uh, I'm from Slovenia. And uh, in this uh, talk, I will I would like to uh, share a story with you and uh, squeeze it in these five minutes. So, about uh, half a year ago, I was contacted by a friend of mine. Uh, his name is uh, Nick Skrlec, and uh, he in in March this year he won the Slovenian competition of um, reciting the number of pi. And um, he, he actually memorized 1,800 uh, digits of it. And uh, quite shortly after the competition, uh, he contacted me and uh, he said, you pretty much are the only developer I know and I have this problem and you might um, have a solution for this or at least suggest something. And he said, um, Actually, remember, ring the, the, the digits of the pie isn't such a problem. The problem is that I always have to bother some person when I'm um, um, exercising them. Uh, someone has to manually check these numbers. Would it be possible if uh, I would be telling this instead uh, to the computer and the computer would be verifying and giving me feedback when I uh, make a mistake? And I was like, okay, I'm a web developer, but it's kind of interesting, uh, interesting problem, and um, I will I will do some research and we'll see where where this goes. I knew that there's no uh, chance that I will code like uh, something like um, um, speech recognition myself. Um, and I started doing some research, and I actually found some candidates written in Java, Python, some weird stuff running on Linux and so on. Um, till I didn't dump into this website, which is the demonstration on the Google, uh, developed by Google, of the web speech API, which is actually in the Chrome since version 25 or something like this. And um, actually when you speak, um, it's just works and this is already um, implemented in the browser. I know I, I'm not a native English speaker, so probably it doesn't understand me very well. Um, and after playing a bit with it, we found out that this is like the best, the best thing uh, we, we, could, we could use. So um, he was playing around with bits uh, and eventually what we came up with was is this website. Um, <laughs> Is uh, a pi 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 is uh, his website pi 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 dot com. He's he's having a lot, so we had this. Uh, we decided to have this name, and uh, this website is actually having just one task. It's it listens uh, to you, and uh, it's checking uh, if uh, if you're doing uh, like if uh, yeah the the pi number for you. So uh, to demonstrate this, you select the language. Um, Select which decimal you want to start with, and then just click start. One, four, one, five, nine. Yeah, and it, it's it's like this. And if I make a mistake, one, five, three, point zero. Okay, this is weird. Let's go again. Okay, it, it made something. Okay, oh, it's just. Um, Strips everything. It's not that's not a number, and uh, uh, creates a diff uh, out of it. So you get like this uh, kind of uh, feedback uh, where where you should say what and what wh where did you make your mistake. Um, so it turned out that implementation was really that simple. Um, the spec is very short. Okay, perfect. One minute left, and uh, just to show you example of the code, actually most of it. It's just the UI. Um, here's actually what you have to do. Uh, no extensions, nothing special. Just uh, you have to create new object, uh, create new rapid speech recognition. Rapid is just the prefix because it's a, obviously it's an experimental thing. It's, it's, um, it, it, it's just in Chrome. So uh, set some uh, settings and then just actually listen uh, to, some, um, to some events on result, on start, on end. And uh, this is pretty much all of it. Lesson learned that day is that I never imagined that I will find this inside the browser. And um, that today, um, if you are having a problem, it's very, very probable that you will find it 
implemented already somewhere inside the web platform. And that's it. Thanks. <laughs>